Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Again, I apologize for my voice. I have lost my voice, it's slowly coming back, but uh, yeah, it's a little difficult right now. <laughs> but I did have some news that I wanted to bring out. You can see I'm back home from the Sun Princess. I'll have more further details coming up on exactly my pros and cons and things you should look out for when you're on the Sun Princess and whether or not it's actually a ship you should take. But before then, we got some really interesting news. We got a ship that was just like a scene from a horror movie. We got the Carnival Vista, guess what, broke down again. Surprise, surprise. We have a start to the next largest ship in the world. And finally, we have a 49-year-old woman and her son were arrested, well, she was arrested, her son was evacuated off the ship, kicked off the ship, because they assaulted a 65-year-old woman in the theater. Today's video is brought to you by Private Internet Access. So here I am in London, England, and I am about to head to the Sun Princess. Now, on the Sun Princess, I'm heading to Spain, I'm heading back to the United States for 16 days across the Atlantic Ocean. And I'll be passing through multiple time zones. And in that time zones and all these islands I'm stopping at, you know what's out there? Scammers and hackers looking to steal my personal information, looking to steal my bank accounts when I'm on a cruise. What better way to have me not be able to get in touch with my banks and credit cards is that I'm going about to go into the ocean and can't reach them for five or six days. No siree, that's why I have a VPN. A VPN hides your IP address, it protects you from would-be scammers, people to look stealing all your information, everything out there from your bank accounts to where you live, that you're away from your home, etc. Anything to do, they're looking to steal whatever they can and that's why I have a VPN. But why did I choose private internet access? Well, for one thing, they let me have unlimited devices. I could do my iPhone, I could do my two cell phones, I could do my computer at home, my computer on the road, my computer in the basement. I could do all my devices under the exact same plan. And also they have a no log policy and that no log policy means they're storing none of my information, which is exactly what I want, nobody to have my information. So if you'd like to try private internet access, why now follow my link down below and get 83% off your subscription plus four months free. Thanks again to Private Internet Access for sponsoring this video. So first off, some passengers out there were talking about a horror scene. This was a couple few days ago that happened on the Carnival Valor when suddenly the decks, the Lido deck up top, suddenly Birds just started dropping from the sky onto the cruise ship and into the surrounding water but below and uh, uh, scattered amongst the, de the deck. Tons and tons of birds, like a scene right of an, out of an Alfred Hitchcock movie or a Resident Evil movie. It seems that the birds most likely were affected by Hurricane Milton and the directional uh, just went completely out of whack and they got exhausted and were looking for some place to land, etc. And they were still in the middle of the ocean and the birds all fell down. Now, some passengers were saying, hey, why is it taking so long to get rid of these birds on the, on the Lido deck, etc.? You know, there's bird flu and things like that. They have to understand that when something like this, an incident like this happens, normally it might be one or two birds that might get stunned or stuck on a cruise ship and and or injured and the, the crew will look after it until either they can turn it over to a conservationist or something or the bird passes away naturally, unfortunately. But they do do their best to, to maintain the birds and their condition. However, in a case like this, there are certain rules that they have to follow. There are guidelines, there are sent, sent out in documented ways that you have to handle these situations. And so that's what they were doing and they have to do it in a certain way and make sure each bird is either, is, are they injured? Are they stunned? Do you think they recuperate? Have they passed away? And it's by individual birds. They just don't go out with a broom and start sweeping them into the ocean. So yeah, 
I, uh, I, I would not like to be a Carnival crew member doing this sort of thing. That would just break my heart, but they're the ones who end up doing it. And uh, yeah, it just, imagine that you're just sitting out there on the deck one day and I'm, all these birds just stop dropping from the sky around you. That would give anybody the willy, <laughs> the willies, if you will. Uh, well, on a little bit brighter news, we now have the keel has been laid. It doesn't look like much here, but it's actually eventually going to be the largest cruise ship in the world. The third Icon class ship is being built. The keel has been laid and Royal Caribbean is pretty excited about bringing out another Icon class. I'll be excited when they have so many Icon class ships that the price goes back to normal <laughs> instead of the current pricing that's out there right now. Yikes in some cases, right? Well, guess what folks? Surprise, surprise, after shutting down the cruise ship for a week, after the Carnival Vista once again had propulsion issues, they got it all repaired, they set sail, and then they were delayed getting back home because they had propulsion issues, which caused a delay to incoming passengers. It wasn't that big of a delay, it was about two, two and a half hours that the embarking passengers were able to get on. Of course, disembarking passengers, if you booked that early flight, that might have been a, an issue. And some people might have missed some flights in that case. However, uh, it also did not leave on time. It was supposed to leave around 4, 4.30 in the evening and it didn't leave till 4, 4.30 in the morning, the following morning, which means it was in port for about 12 hours. But apparently the repairs have been done Fingers crossed, fingers crossed everybody. The repairs have been done and it's on its way. And apparently it will not affect this itinerary. Right now it's scheduled to arrive about two and a half hours later than normal for its first stop at their private island. However, it was a sea day schedule, so they are able to go at a faster pace. Maybe the captain is just lining it up to get there at an exact time, but all the stops will remain in place unless something else, of course, happens. Fingers crossed that it doesn't. All right, finally, we have a story of a two passengers who were on the MSC cruise ship where they apparently got into an altercation where a 49-year-old woman from Alabama got into an altercation with a 65-year-old or older woman in the theater, and she slapped the older woman, according to video surveillance and according to the arrest report, at which time her son apparently threw punches and hits at the 65-year-old woman as well. Well, he was disembarked in Jamaica, completely kicked off the ship. Of course, he will be banned. Uh, I did not see a report of him being arrested in Jamaica, only kicked off, but there might be an arrest warrant out for him as well once he gets back into the United States. But the mother, 49-year-old, when she arrived back in United States cruise port, the police were waiting there, arrested her, charged her. She's not in jail currently, but there is an arrest report out there for uh, assault on a person 65 years of age or older, which they take this into account a little bit more serious because usually somebody 65 and older are far less more vulnerable and less able to defend themselves than say a healthy 25, 30 year old person, right? And especially a 65 year old or older lady. Not sure what caused the altercation. We just know it was in the theater and that there has been an arrest warrant. And I guess a lot of it will also depend on if the lady wants to press charges or not. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens to the son as well. Again, uh, really no excuse for fisticuffs and fighting and slapping and especially, especially no reason for the son to have gotten in there and started hitting a 65 year old woman. I'm glad he was escorted off the ship and both of them will probably now be banned for life. Let me know in the comments down below what you think 
how about, you know, <laughs> I've seen altercations, I've seen arguments, uh, but I've never seen a, a younger man, like in his 25, 30s, as start wailing or hitting or slapping a 65-year-old female. Never saw that, never want to see that, and I hope that person gets the ramifications coming to them. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.